So guys, welcome back. This is Val from Gymlight. In today's video, I'm gonna urge you to stop moving the dash to your camera. Right, you heard that right. I want you to stop moving the dash to your camera. And now you're thinking, what are you doing? Why would I stop moving the camera? How do I go by and frame my characters? Well, let me first show you how most people tackle this. They add a character to the environment and they start moving the camera around and they kind of move around the character. Let me switch over to texture shaded and let's turn on the headlamp so we see what we are doing. And basically you have to kind of do two things here, right? You gotta make your character kind of right and then you have to move the camera and you're thinking, man, is this, nah. And you go around and move around stuff randomly, you know, and until you maybe, maybe end up with a cool camera framing, right? And there's a much more easier way to tackle this and much faster too. And that is my friend to stop moving the camera. So here's how it works. You kind of start by ignoring the scenery. I know it's there, but just ignore it for a second, all right? Move your character a little bit so that it ends up being correctly framed in your image, all right? Then you slightly adjust the camera to get your character right, something like that, right? And then you stop moving. At this point, you can also light your character, right? You can add an additional light. You can pretty much just go ahead and add a spotlight and look through the spotlights um, camera or view and just position your light, right? Just real quick here. All right, there we go. Now, the cool thing starts now. Instead of moving the camera around and trying to find a good spot, move the set around. All right, so click, in this case, this is Stone Mason's, uh, some kind of bar setting, can't recall the name. And you move that around. You see what I'm doing here? I'm moving the set around the camera. Isn't this cool? Right, you have a perfect framing already for your character. You have even lit your character, right? And now you're just moving and framing the backdrop until it's where you roughly want to, you know, be with your camera. We have a cool camera angle and so forth, right? Then once that's in place, you can fine tune it slightly, All right? And I have actually made this scene already, so I'm gonna reload that real fast. And as you can see, this scene here was made using exactly what I just covered. I positioned the character, I added the light, and then I moved the set around until I was satisfied with it, right? And what I did here, I'm just turn on, turn off the headlamp and just engage in the video array. And you're gonna see that you can create really cool and professional looking images this way by stop moving the camera, all right? So a quick recap, position your character right when you want it in your frame, in the image, light your character, and then you move around the set until it's done. And then you can fine tune the camera, of course, right? But you move the set around the camera rather than vice versa. Now go ahead and check out the free new mini course below this video. There's a link to my new seven biggest dash studio beginner mistakes and how to fix them today and this character with a chair and pose is included for free there as well so guys as always thanks so much for watching keep having fun with dash studio and i'll see you next time